Imagine waking up, opening your browser, and finding the internet on fire. Headlines screaming, 16 billion passwords exposed. It's 2025, and the digital world feels like it's cracking open. Facebook, Google, Apple, the holy trinity of your online existence. Suddenly dragged into the chaos. But here's the twist. It wasn't one massive breach, it was millions of little ones stitched together. Years of leaked databases, info stealer malware, and careless reuses of the same old passwords forming a monstrous data Frankenstein. Picture underground hackers crawling across forums, piecing together stolen logins like digital grave robbers assembling a skeleton army. Those 16 billion records? Many are old, some duplicated, but mixed inside are fresh, breathing credentials scraped straight from infected browsers, clipboard caches, and malware logs. Living proof that someone, somewhere, still doesn't believe in security updates. Now imagine the chain reaction. One reused password unlocks your Spotify, then your Gmail, then your entire digital life. Credential stuffing attacks explode. Phishing emails multiply. Ransomware operators smile. Every weak password becomes a loaded weapon aimed at its own owner. But here's the uncomfortable truth. This was never about one breach. It was about how we treat our security like it's optional. People reuse passwords because convenience feels safer than complexity, and companies bleed data faster than they can patch. The hackers didn't have to break the door. We left it unlocked. Most people think they're safe because their password feels clever. Maybe it's their pet's name with a few numbers, or password123, at instead A, because, hey, it's got symbols, right? Weak passwords aren't just predictable. They're mathematically doomed. When you type a short or simple password, it gets converted into a hash, a digital fingerprint stored on servers. Hackers don't need to guess your password directly. They just run billions of hash combinations through cracking tools like Hashcat or John the Ripper, fueled by GPU rigs that chew through entire dictionaries in seconds. A six-character lowercase password? Cracked in under a second. Eight characters with mixed symbols? Maybe a few hours but a 16-character random mix of uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and symbols. That's like trying to guess a grain of sand in a desert. It could take centuries, even with modern hardware. That's the power of entropy, randomness that hackers can't predict. But here's the irony. Even the strongest, longest, most randomized password in the world is worthless if you give it away. You can have Fort Knox-level security, but if a hacker phishing you with a fake login page or tricks you in a social engineering scheme, you just hand over the keys yourself. The password didn't fail, the human did. That's why cybersecurity isn't just about strength, it's about awareness. Build strong passwords, use password managers, but never forget, the hardest system to hack is the human mind that refuses to be fooled. So what can you do when 16 billion passwords hang in the air like toxic dust? You fight back smart, you rotate your credentials, Enable multi-factor authentication on everything that matters and stop trusting your brain to remember all your logins. They're supposed to protect you, but in today's internet, they're also your biggest weakness. That's where password managers step in. Not as luxury tools, but as digital bodyguards that never sleep. Imagine a vault encrypted, sealed, and guarded by military-grade algorithms, where every password you own is stored behind one master key only you hold. That's what password managers like Bitwarden, OnePassword, Dashlane, LastPass, or the open source beasts like KeePass XC are built for. These aren't just apps, they're shields that generate and store unique keys for every lock. Pair them with YubiKeys or PassKeys, and even if your password leaks, it becomes a useless string of text to anyone without your physical token. And autofill them when you need to log in, so you never have to reuse or remember them. Even if one site gets hacked, your other logins stay untouched, isolated like sealed compartments on a ship. And here's the genius part. Your data isn't stored in plain text. It's encrypted end-to-end, -end, meaning not even the company hosting your passwords can see what's inside. But how do you know if you've already been hit? That's where tools like Have I Been Pwned, Firefox Monitor, or Dehashed come in. Drop your email in and they'll tell you instantly if it's been caught in a known breach, which site leaked it, when, and what data was exposed. If your info pops up, I'll don't panic. Change your password immediately and let your manager generate a new one. 
You can even enable two-factor authentication or use hardware keys like YubiKey for an extra layer of defense. The truth is, in a world where data leaks happen faster than patches roll out, password managers aren't optional. They're survival gear. They're the invisible firewall between your identity and the dark web's marketplace. Because one leaked password can open one account. But one password manager can close every door at once. The moral? The breach isn't the villain. Ignorance is. The hackers didn't just win. They adapted faster than we secured. But as I always say, great power comes from great sources of utilization. Use your tools, not just your fears. Upgrade your habits, fortify your fortress, and don't let panic drive your defense. Let discipline do it. If you like this breakdown, join me. Hit subscribe, like, share, and drop a comment below. And remember, security isn't paranoia, it's preparation. See you in the next one.